Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening video, and this time it is going to be on a box of Maximum Crisis. Uh, I've got a couple of these, in fact, so expect a couple of these videos over the course of the next day or so. Um, I bought four boxes. One of them is being given away through my Patreon giveaway, and the other three are mine to open. So, without any sort of hesitation, let us just dive straight into this box and see what we can get. This is the first time I've actually bought a lot of uh, Konami product. Um, in a long time, actually, uh, and honestly, the only reason I'm even purchasing this is because I'm trying to play some form of True King, True Draco variant at YCS Pittsburgh in two weeks, and I do not want to have to bother uh, people to borrow cards as heavily as I probably would need to. So uh, there's been some uh, there's been some videos online of some people pulling awful. Uh, secret rare, uh, secret rare, um, ah, well there's a Majesty Maiden to start us off. Uh, awful, uh, secret rare pulls of, like, just having, like, nothing but Zarks, nothing but Ultra Polymerizations, and, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and then there was, a PPG streamed opening two different cases, and, uh, they opened literally zero, uh, <laughs> literally zero, uh, secrets out of their, uh, entire case. So, or out of the, like two cases, so zero secrets out of two cases. So like, let's let's hope that doesn't happen here. But uh, all these spiral cards, the spiral dragon, the new fairy tale card. Uh, I didn't know that was a super actually. I'm glad that the dumbass big dragon, the big vanilla dragon, that everyone's going like, ever all the like casuals are like, yeah, we get to play with vanilla dragons and uh, equip cards. Uh, but I actually love this card, Sylvan Princess Sprite. I love this card. Um, but all of the people that, uh, that are like, yeah, we get to play with dragons and equip spells. We're like, come on now. We, we can do better than this. It's 2017. I'm glad that thing is a rare. Uh, that way everyone has every excuse. Uh, this is not really one of the ultras that I wanted, but it'll work. I mean, this is like one of the cards you don't play. Because <laughs> it's not really that optimal. Uh, Darius, or, it was Darius, what is it? It's Dreath 3. Dreyeth 3. What happened to 1 through 2? Um, that's the question I have. Is that what happened to 1 through 2? Uh, this bitch is the reason Tyrant Neptune is banned. I remember that. Zephyr Providence. I actually haven't even really read all of the new Zephyr cards. I probably will read them at some point. Uh, and maybe do a video on them. Who knows? Um, but I definitely have not read them. Uh, except for Zephyrath, the new big pendulum monster. That card's broken. Uh, oh, and this is the zero scale. Okay, so we're getting these in this set, too. I actually 100% forgot about that. And then the new Necros card, which is not what the deck needs to function. What the deck needs to function is a Shrit. Uh, <laughs> that's literally all it needs. Actually, I say that, but Ariel would actually have worked really well to put Necros like back on some form of map. Had um, had the uh, had Brio and Unicorn not been at one. Like if Brio was still at two and Unicorn was still at three, uh, the deck would still function kind of well because you wouldn't be as strained on what you need to search. Uh, with your stuff. Oh yeah, the Darling Cobras. What is this? Bird of Divinity. Alright. Waterfall of Dragon Souls. I'm pretty sure that's another one of those things for the... Is this is this for Worms? Yeah, this is for Worms. I thought it was for like the new uh, Phantasmal Dragon thing, but turns out it's not. Oh, this is a common? I did not expect that. I have not looked at like rarity spoils for anything other than uh, <laughs> other than what the Ultras and Secrets are. Just because those are what people like care about. But obviously I'm trying to pull Masterpieces. Uh, this is kind of good. Um, you go golem. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and yeah, true Draco apocalypse. I forgot that I needed to be looking for that as a common to uh, pull out for uh, the true Draco stack. But we're trying to get masterpieces. We're trying to get diagrams, and we're trying to get ghost ashes. Quite obviously. Uh, and somebody is messaging me on Discord, which I do not appreciate. I'm kidding. I love talking to people, uh, but. I forgot to put that in streamer mode, which I will definitely do for the next videos. Uh, Zephyrath. Yeah, this is the card that I know. I know what this thing does. This thing gives you two pendulum summons. And uh, Big Core MK3 is a rare. I did not think... Oh, and Hammer Kong is a common? Okay, so Lyca is an ultra and Hammer Kong is a common. Good to know. Good to know, good to know. So we're like... Uh, a good halfway through this box. I think there's like... Seven packs left on one side and five on the other. I've not gotten to secrets yet, but secrets are usually on the bottom. Ah, True Draco Heritage. Yes, a good ultra. Good ultra, good ultra. I don't even know what the other ultras are in this set, to be completely honest with you, other than these cards. 
Um, but this card's broken. This card lets you draw three cards. Uh, any card that says draw three cards is always just like insane. Um, Balbaboon, you're a super rare. We don't care about you. Uh, this Phantom Knight thing, set rotation. Oh, so this is the field spell thing. Um, I didn't think we were getting this card this set. Uh, it turns out that's how shows you how much I know. Uh, I thought it was like an OCG exclusive or something. I am so out of the loop as far as what cards are coming out when and where. Um, like, that is actually just the case with how things are. I'm going to clean up those supers they've been laying out, and they're starting to get a bit glary uh, with my lighting system, which definitely requires improvement. Bujin Hiroko. True King's Return. Hell yeah. Another good ultra. Fuck yeah. Uh, at, least we're getting, at least we're getting the ultras that we want. Um, I haven't gotten down to the secret area of the box yet, if there even is a secret in this box, because these, these could just be like PPG's boxes where there was literally nothing. Um, and that would be, that would be the problem. Uh, Fiendus, this card's broken. Uh, too bad it's support for a shitty deck. Um, that's literally my response, is that I've never seen a better card be released to a shittier deck. Uh, and then this is the level 8. The level 8 is common. Okay. Uh, Spiral Last Resort, ew, the, the terrible, uh, the terrible True Draco dude, the actual towers, but not really, it sucks, um, well, it's not really that it sucks, it just, it's, it's not optimal, uh, whoop, that was interesting, okay, come on, I want to get down to the secret areas to see if this was worth, um, in any way, shape, or form, uh, so this is the 13 scale, hell yeah, uh, Zephyr War, I just need to read all these Zephyr cards. I mean, like that's just how it needs to happen. Pendulum Switch, I have no idea what that is. Another Dark Worm. Um, how many packs do we have left in this box? Uh, five, six. Okay. So, that works. We should be getting... I think the secrets are always at like the bottom of the box now. Um, if I remember like how it's assembled. Uh, or it just changes. <laughs> it, could, it could change from, box, uh, from set to set. But the I remember the last like couple boxes that I bought of like uh, of like uh, the Dark Illusion. I bought like a box of that, and the secrets were at the very last pack on both sides. Damn it! I did not want a Zark. <laughs> Fuck this card. This card sucks. This card's not optimal. This card's not optimal at all. That's that's a bum ass secret. But at least we got a secret. But like that that's gonna be a card that I like immediately try to just sell because like Zark magicians are the furthest thing from optimal that I've seen in a long time. Another one of these god-awful Draco mans. You ain't Masterpiece, you're not what we're worried about. Um, sucks that that's the way that the world has to work, but that is how the world works. Uh, another Gate Infinity... Um, hmm. What the fuck is this? Oh, it was a Predator Plant card that I didn't recognize. Uh, so, the question is, will this pack be the other secret? Or will it be? The, uh, the other pack. Ugh, Ultra Polymerization, no! This is the exact same sort of box that people got online that they were posting in Zodiac. There was a person who opened a case, and literally every single secret in all their boxes was Zark Ultra Polymerization. And if that's the way this is gonna go, man, ooh, you can, you can count how many additional boxes of Konami product I'll be buying on zero fingers. But I have two more that I've got to open. So that would be terrible. So, uh, I mean, as far as a boss goes, at least I got some good ultras. Like, at least I got part of my way towards uh, towards the deck that I'm wanting to play. Um, getting, you know, the good spell and trap support in the Majesty Maiden. I didn't get any Dynamite Knuckles, which sucks. Uh, but, hey, it's whatever. Are literally all the ultras in this set, like uh, the, uh, the true Draco cards? I'm actually curious about that, but... Not the best secrets. I would have taken Duelist Alliance over this card. Um, like, and I would have taken, like, definitely would have taken any other secret in the box over Zark. Uh, but at least I could probably sell them. But anyway, that is it for this box opening. Uh, shitty secrets. Pretty decent ultras. Um, and then the supers were kind of alright. I mean, I don't really care about the supers anymore. These are basically just commons uh, at this state of the game. It's easier to pull any super in a set than it is to pull any common if you actually think about it. Uh, because there's less supers and you're guaranteed one every box or every uh, every pack, um, and there's more commons per ratio of uh, of what commons you get in uh, a pack, so it's actually easier to pull supers than it is commons uh, of certain cards. 
So there is uh, that to think about. But yeah, that's going to be it for this box opening. Uh, I'm going to be doing the other ones, and they will be going up on the channel shortly. So anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this box in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you actually think that I'm just selling these cards short or uh, whatever. Because I mean, I'm just going to probably sell these cards. Probably going to put these on eBay and just sell them uh, because I don't. I'm never probably going to play a Supreme King, King Zark deck uh, because I just think it's very un un unoptimal uh, to play. But let me know what your thoughts are on the polls and all in the comments down below, all that sort of nonsense. Definitely check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to help support the channel's growth, help make some new things possible that I'm trying to plan for the future, and you want to support the channel and also get in on a monthly giveaway at the end of this month for another uh, giveaway of sorts. I don't know what it's going to be yet. It'll probably just be another box of Maximum Crisis. Uh, have not decided yet, but if you want to get in on any of that, then definitely go check out the Patreon page. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then definitely check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. So definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that has been it for this box opening video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on the polls in the comments down below, all that sort of nonsense, and stay tuned for the other box openings. Take care, guys. I will see you in the next video.